So in today's video, I will be making an autumn inspired hair rinse just using two ingredients, cloves and oat straw. So I've been seeing so much positive things going around about cloves for hair growth and hair thickness. And rather than make a oil, I figured I would do a hair rinse because it's lighter and more suitable for those with oily scalps, but could also be used for all hair types. Additionally, I thought I would add some oat straw because oat straw is a really good source of silica and magnesium, which are great for hair health. However, there is a little bit of protein in the oat straw, so if you're protein sensitive, you can use less than what I use or you can just skip it all together. Okay, so you will bring one cup of water to a boil and then you will turn off your burner and you will add one teaspoon of oat straw and then you will add one heaping teaspoon of cloves. Give it a stir and then you will want this to steep for about three to five minutes. And then you will go ahead and strain it. And then the next step is optional but highly recommended. You can add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I'm just going to add maybe about a tablespoon if that. Then once my hair rinse has cooled, I will dilute the rest of the mixture with filtered shower water, give it a good shake, and then I like to begin by shampooing my hair. I'm just using the Maple Holistics Tea Tree, it is my current favorite. And then after I shampoo, I will start off by dipping my ends in the mixture, let it soak for about 30 seconds or so. And then I pour the remaining mixture over my head, really focusing on my scalp, and then I let it run down my length. And then I just leave it on for a couple minutes, and then I will squeeze out the excess water, and I will still leave the hair rinse on, and then I go in with a little bit of conditioner. Now I will use less conditioner than usual when doing a hair rinse, especially because this hair rinse is very conditioning and it will make your hair very soft and smooth. And then after I leave the conditioner and hair rinse on for a couple minutes, I will just rinse everything out and I can't wait to show you my results.